In most communities, access to McDonald's is easier than access to a local library. When I moved to South Jersey, I looked for a local book bank like I had in Baltimore, and there was nothing around us. And so I'm working, I guess, to create my own local book bank and see how far this can go with the community food bank. We have hundreds and thousands of children that we feed and we feed Atlantic, Cape May, and Cumberland counties, which means we collect and then distribute almost 1 million pounds of food a month to over 300 partner agencies. And having these books here available, not only for our neighbors that come here, but our partner charities as well, is fantastic. I believe with bringing in the books to the community bank, food bank, it would be um, wonderful for the children, especially like families who come in and you might not know that they have children and even children with developmental delays or anything that it would be beneficial for the kids. You would be surprised how many parents don't have a vehicle to go to a public library or don't have the money to purchase a book online to be delivered or don't have the money to give their child at the book fair at school. And here they're able not only to receive the food but to receive the gift of a book. Hunger just isn't about being hungry. Books, education, creativity, imagination, just because you're sitting in a food bank doesn't mean that you can't be any place in the world dreaming of being anywhere and anything when you grow up. I think this project will give a new side to the community food bank. You're not just going for food. You know, food nourishes your stomach and books nourish your brain and your soul. So you'll have both of those at one opportunity. And it shows the food bank not just as a place to get food, but to get other things like imagination and books and dreams and all those great things that make a child expand their world. It was our, our community is fantastic. It is the most benevolent neighborhoods I have ever worked with. This project is super easy because Oakcrest is one big family and everybody comes together to support great projects like this. When I worked in Baltimore, I didn't have a budget and so I would go out and collect books myself from other areas that provided free books. When I got to Oakcrest and saw all the resources we had and the budget I had to buy my own books, I decided that I could give back to what I took and organize book drives for local charities. This is the second book drive um, Oakcrest has done. The first book drive we gave books to the Boys and Girls Club in Atlantic City and now we're giving books to the Community Food Bank. This is so unique, this is so cutting edge, and it's actually part of what we want to do, which is expand scope of services. Hunger is the basic part of what I do, what we do here at the Community Food Bank, and building upon that, especially with books, is empowerment, and it's the restoration of human dignity. They can stop at our front desk. We have a, our volunteer at the reception desk. We'll just take them, give you a receipt for your donation, and then we set them up for the next lucky few kids that walk through the door.